Hey everyone, my name is Carson Miller. I make videos about drones and all other facets of technology. And if you are somebody who has a vehicle that currently allows you to go and use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, I would bet that at some point in time, the question has run through your head before of, how can I go and stream YouTube or Netflix onto that display? Is it possible? And if so, how do I do it? And whether or not that question's run through your head or you just happen to stumble across this video, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do exactly that with ease, with the help of a device by the company known as One Car Stereo and specifically their AI Box Lite. This product claims that it allows you to go and stream YouTube and Netflix on your in-car display without modifying your vehicle whatsoever, as well as convert wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto into wireless of both of those, which is pretty exciting. So with that said, I do have to say up front that One Car Stereo did send me this product for free, but they are not sponsoring me. They're not paying me. They're not doing anything else or even seeing this video before you guys are. So all opinions are my own and I want to keep this as unbiased as possible. So with that said, let's get this box popped open, get it set up and look at whether or not that this is worth it to pick up or not. All right. So the box that the product comes in is pretty inconspicuous. There's really not much on it, but Opening it on up, inside the box, you get some instructions. Underneath that, you get the AI box light itself, which as you can see is a pretty reasonable size. This box itself has two ports on it. It's got a USB-C port and then a USB type A port here on the back. And the reason for this is this port goes along with the cord that comes inside the box, as well as the last thing in the box is a USB-C to USB type A adapter in the event that your car takes a USB-C plug. But anyways, this cable goes and plugs into here and the other end, the USB type A end, goes and plugs into your vehicle where you would usually plug in your phone for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And then on this end with that is where you can go and plug your phone into or you can plug a USB drive in because this also is capable of streaming media files from a USB drive. But with that said, let me go plug this in and let's get this thing set up. As I already mentioned, this does get plugged into your existing USB port where you would usually plug in your phone. So go ahead and unplug that and plug the new device into that same port. And once you've done that, you should see some lights pop on the AI box light and you will also see your vehicle begin to recognize this and you should be able to just click on CarPlay like usual and you'll see the AI box is starting. And once that's booted up, this is the interface of the device. So you've got a section for different apps. You've got a section for CarPlay. You've also got Netflix directly to take you right to Netflix. You get this little button right there to go home and whatnot. And then you've got exit, which will take you back to your vehicle's interface. But going back into this, let's go and get CarPlay set up really quickly. All you gotta do is click on that, go into your phone, go to CarPlay, and you will see the device pops up as a wireless connection. As you can see, my phone isn't plugged in right now. It's got that up and going. And once it has connected, there you have it. Wireless CarPlay. So I'm not connected, and I gotta say, it's quite responsive. You do to get this little icon that you can move around wherever that is because you do have to have that in order to go back to your home screen or whatever it is right here so that is there but with that connected now the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that this ai box is connected to the internet and you'll need that so then you can go and stream netflix or youtube to get connected to the internet make sure that your personal hotspot of your phone is turned on and then from on the device here itself, click the little Wi-Fi icon. That'll take you into settings. Click on your phone's hotspot, type in your password, and it should get connected very quickly. Once it's done that, you can go back to the home screen and you now should see a blue Wi-Fi icon that dictates that it is connected to the internet now. And from here, you should be able to open up Netflix or YouTube. Let's start with YouTube. Would you look at that? Even on this, it's trying to get us to buy something. And you get access to YouTube immediately. This is so cool. So you can go ahead and log into your account if you wish, or you can just watch YouTube as you would normally with a logged out account. As you can see, of course, my video has got to pop up. This video was made possible by Skillshare. More on that later. Hey everyone, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video buying your drone. And I'll be the first to...
Look at that. You can scrub. And is forgetting to change your camera resolution at down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now this one is a little bit more dialed in towards the Look how responsive that is. You can scrub through, you can play pause. This is like regular YouTube on my vehicle. That is pretty dang cool. And the audio sounds as if I was just playing it off of my phone. The audio is not distorted whatsoever. You probably can't tell that very well through this video, but to me, it sounds like I have my phone plugged in and I'm just listening to audio over regular, you know, CarPlay or something like that. Navigating the interface is great. The, you know, the load time for thumbnails is a little bit laggy, but that's probably more due to my cell phone's uh, tether rather than the interface itself. I mean, the keyboard works great, but just the fact that you can do this is pretty incredible. Like, what? Tesla software updates and features coming to their cars, and that's because Tesla is constantly improving things. Their vehicle software and app Even the quality of the video is incredible as well. So, that said, let's go back to the home and let's check out Netflix now. So opening up Netflix, obviously you're gonna need to log in for the first time, but I have already done that. And you get the regular Netflix interface going on here. One thing I did notice is that there isn't the autoplay up here. Like, I don't know what that is. It's not playing, but whatever the case may be, playing content is just as easy as playing on YouTube. And it looks great. This is like a regular Netflix interface. It's loading quickly. You can do the regular functions, like view other episodes, go around the interface. You can go and adjust the speed. You can even lock the screen if you don't wanna you know, accidentally touch stuff. No, you can't adjust the brightness like it thinks you can. But aside from that, wow. Okay, so overall, this is doing exactly what it's promised. It can play Netflix, it can play YouTube, and it does it astoundingly well as well. As I mentioned, you can also go and play video or audio from the USB drive. It comes pre-installed with the Furious 7 trailer for whatever reason. So clearly this does have some built-in storage, uh, but I'm assuming it's not very much. Let's go check that. So according to settings, it does have 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. It usually has around eight and a half remaining. Now, another question I have is whether or not you can go and install other apps on this because this is essentially just a regular, you know, Android OS here. Does it have the Play Store? It does. Let's see if I can install some other apps. So the answer to that is a resounding yes. You can install whatever apps you want on this. That is incredible. I don't know that you'd want to be playing mobile games on this. Honestly, that's not that great of an experience. Plus, after you install these, it does show up inside of your app page. So no matter what you install, it will show up here, which is pretty neat. Anyways, that's aside the point, but that does mean that you can download other apps. Also, music-wise, you can also play music off of the USB drive or internal storage if you happen to have that as well. Some of the other apps that I was able to download was Prime Video as well as TikTok. As far as Hulu and some of the other streaming services go, you can unfortunately not download some of them because a lot of them require that the device that it is downloading onto is compliant with DMCA or otherwise copyright. So this device, because it is not like a registered or whatever device, unfortunately you can't download some of those apps. However, there are workarounds to that, but with that said, pretty much any other app that you want, you can download, which is pretty neat. With everything honestly working great, one of the last things that I wanted to figure out was the boot time of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So with a wireless connection, obviously it's gonna be slower than a direct wired connection, but I was unprepared for how much slower the boot time would be. With this device plugged in, the shortest boot time that I was able to record in my time of using this was 55 seconds and on the longer end it sometimes would take 90 to 120 seconds to get my phone fully connected and into CarPlay which is absolutely ridiculous compared to a wired connection which in my vehicle the shortest amount of time that I recorded was seven seconds and the longest I recorded was 10. So 
this can be literally six to 12 times slower when you are booting up compared to a wired connection, which is quite atrocious in my opinion. But once this is booted up, I do gotta say the latency over wireless CarPlay, there's Don't nearly none. There I will say no there is about a one to two second delay as far as stopping and starting audio though. But I think that that has to come down to Bluetooth rather than the device itself or maybe the device's Bluetooth inside of it may be the issue of that, not sure. Either way, the audio, it works fine once it is connected and it is high quality as you would expect. With that said, what are my overall thoughts on the AI Box Lite? Is it worth it? Well, if you are somebody who is looking to go and display Netflix or YouTube or TikTok or whatever you want on the display in your car, then this will absolutely do that for you. And it lives up to all of the promises that it makes. And honestly, I think it's underselling itself. The fact that you can go into the Play Store and download additional apps that aren't included out of the box of this, considering that's not mentioned anywhere in their marketing materials or on their website, I think that is pretty dang cool. And I do wish that they would add the Play Store just to that app page to make this easier for people. Maybe they don't want people really knowing about this, but I think that that's pretty cool that you can go and do that because it's not mentioned anywhere. And as I said, it does live up to everything that it promises, so that is great as well. But in saying that, you know, is it really worth it to go out and pick this up over just streaming the same media over your phone? I don't know. Obviously, that's up to you, especially if you have a larger display, though, for CarPlay, then I think that this would be an awesome thing to add on to it because you'll be able to watch content when you're stopped at maybe a gas station or I don't even know what whatever you may be doing where you are not driving because you cannot have media playing on the screen while you're driving. That is illegal in I'm pretty sure all states so definitely keep that in mind but with that said if you would like to pick one of these up yourself or check out some of their other devices they have some with built-in sim cards so you don't even have to dabble with your phone's cellular connection you can go and check out more information about this or pick one up by using the links down in the description below also make sure to let me know that you liked this video by clicking the thumbs up button down below as well as subscribing for future videos from me also you can check out my last video by clicking right over there or some random video by clicking down there and with that said that is it for this one i hope to see you in the next video peace